What is up, everybody? Zario here. Welcome to another ADS Play uploading schedule for the week of January 9th to uh, Saturday the 14th. Um, just some regular stuff going on. Um, of course, I'm going to talk about the games that I had going on this week, as well as some plans that uh, if you guys were paying attention to the video that I released, uh, it was a special video um, announced. Uh, that I had me having some bad news, and I'm gonna emphasize a little bit more on what I was talking about in that video if that video, you know, wasn't clear enough. So, first and foremost, and some of you may know, I did make plans to go to Los Angeles Anime uh, Comic Con convention um, for the weekend of the 27th, 28th, and the 29th. And I was taking the, I was, I was going to take off work from the 24th until the 31st. And I was going to end up working, um, you know, working on getting down there and things like that. Everything was already paid for, mind you. It's just that, you know, some things came up, some personal things came up. And I was no longer able to go. And, you know, if you guys watched that video, matter of fact, I mean, uh, I'll show it to you. Like right here, I'm, some unfortunate bad news, but you know, I want you guys to go take a look at that video and um get more of a clear understanding as to what I'm was talking about in there. But you know, I'm still heartbroken over it. Um, I'm just not able to go, you know, I had everything set up. You guys know that this was one of my plans for 2017. Um, but doing a Comic Con or Anime Con convention tour, you know, just like a big convention tour. Of 2017 trying to go to as many as I possibly could and that was going to be the first one to start it off um but you know it hurts because I had everything planned out I got the business cards I got I had a table getting set up there you know I, every, you know just everything to try to promote my YouTube channel and to make this just to take this into a step where I could do this as a full-time job to where I can make a living off of doing this and it hurts that I, you know, it, it, you know, it bothers me, you know, as that week draws closer that I'm not going to be able to go. And I'm just trying to, um, you know, cope with, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm just trying to cope with doing something, uh, um, you know, like it's just one of those things that just, it really just bothers me that I'm not able to go. Some of you can even hear it on my voice, like it, like it really hurts. So, so I just. You know, it's one of those things I just can't deal, you know, man. It, it's just one of those things that just, like, it really just hurts. I can't really do anything about it. So, I mean, it is what it is. I'm not going to cry over spilled milk. And like I said, I'm going to keep a positive attitude because just because I missed one, you know, I, I could probably bounce back and, you know, make the next six or whatever. So, it's just one of those things where I uh, couldn't, um, but yeah, um, you know, everything was just, you know, weird. And, you know, having everything set up to where it was like, man, this is finally happening for me. I'm finally able to take that step into where I can do this for a living. And just had that first step, you know, ironically enough, you know, uh, had that first step coincidentally stepped on by some personal issues. It's just, you know, you know, it just hurt, so I had to get a refund back for everything that I had, you know, it's, you know, it's just one of those things that just, I don't know, I guess at the bright side, since the plane ticket was non-refundable, it was still used for a a business purpose, so I can write that money off on my taxes, so I guess that's a good thing, but still, man, it's just, man, you know, it, it hurts, man, so, so, but it is what it is, but. But, so, but yeah, so that's that's that. Uh, also, of course, guys, I wanted to plug in the GoFundMe um, at my at Chance for Successful Dreams. Um, the link for it is underneath. Uh, the, the link for this is in the description. Um, it is titled, you know, www.gofundme.com backslash Dream Job Break. And what this is, it's the, the GoFundMe is set for ten thousand dollars. The reason why I have it that high is to buy new equipment, and I uh, have to have money set aside for the convention tour and things like that. And this is only a one-time thing. It's not, 
you know, going to be a reoccurring thing. There's, there's no need for that. I'm only using this really to get new hardware and get the new equipment that I need. If you looked at the video, I think I, if, if it wasn't this one, I think it was another one that I did um, where I actually showed, you know, that, this one right here, Chance for Success of Game, the GoFundMe promo. I actually showed, like, the, the laptop that I have is actually starting to fall apart, like, literally. Um, you know, as I say this, I'm seeing it right now, like, the face of it is starting to, like, come off. The programs itself are, is already bad. You know, the fan keeps dying. And, it, and if I'm going to get, if, you know, if I'm going to live stream and do all these other things and have all these programs on it, I need to have one that can handle that. And those aren't cheap. So this will actually help out with the process. And, you know, with, now I would just buy it myself and not even bother you guys. So you, you know I hate. I don't, I, don't, I don't really like crowdfunding uh, websites because, you know, like, they're just not me, but this is actually going to help, you know, make the channel better. And I'm doing this only because that, you know, with everything else is like, you know, money just is so scarce. You can't really do what you would like to because you got bills and things like that. I was like, okay, fine. I, I can, you know, easily bite that bullet. But I still need the equipment, though. So this is actually to help me get that equipment, you know, to get a new digital camera, to get, you know, a PlayStation I so that you guys can see me, um, you know, as I'm doing the playthroughs, there's a lot, because I, I have some unique things that I can uh, do with that. Um, and a digital camera for whenever I go to my convention tour, I can actually have uh, that to, um, you know, I can actually use that to record everything. Uh, yeah, man, a new laptop. You know, I'm not using it to, for any personal reasons per se, but it's literally everything that I'm making here is, is going towards the business. You know, so, and I really do need the help. I genuinely need it. So, the campaign is going, man. Um, please donate. You know, let's get this hardware uh, issue out the way and we can move on. Next up, uh, my Twitch channel. Uh, Twitch TV backslash ADS play. If it's one word, you see it right here at the top right. I mean, at the top left of the screen, right there. ADS play. It's one word. I've actually been live streaming anytime I was recording the game, I, you know, like a live stream. So, I'm, like I mentioned, one of the plans that I've had in 2017 was to live stream more often, and that is actually being very successful. Even though I still have a couple bugs here and there to iron out. Um, for the most part, it's been a pleasurable experience. So I'm enjoying how the response is. You know, more and more people are joining the um, streams. Like, I've only live streamed like a few times. And, you know, in my total, you know, like I'm already up to 261 views. I mean, there's a lot of people that may not be like much to brag about, but it is for me considering that I'm, I'm just now starting doing this so you know and i don't really have 18 videos at least 18 com complete videos most of these are just like archive footage of me testing out the you know games that i'm playing the stream tests and everything like that some of them are only like 52 seconds you know what i mean like 52 seconds two minutes here and there that's all that was it was just to test out the, the um the live stream so that's all that is man all the ones I would say after this one right here, after these, were pretty much like the official video. So really, if it was a way for me to delete some of these, I would, because I don't really think all these really need to be on here besides the stream test. But nevertheless, it, it don't really matter. But yeah, the, the live stream is officially up. So you guys come on Twitch, follow me on there. I'm gonna, maybe I'll be able to get it like a donation stream going. I don't know how people do that, but eventually I'm going to figure it out. That's that. Of course, the main, on to the games. The main games that I'm playing this week, I think I can finish Sword Art Online Hollow Realization and have that sent back in time. Because um, I want to get, at the very least, Sword Art Online Hollow Realization. And I may just send back Final Fantasy uh, 20, I mean, Final Fantasy 15, if I'm not able to um, do what I want to do with Hollow Realization at the time. I still got World of Final Fantasy that I haven't even touched yet, and I want to dive more into that game um 
you know, it's, it's just been getting pushed to the wayside because I've been trying to get done with everything else around here, and which is an odd time of the year for a lot of stuff. And World of Final Fantasy kind of just got left in the dust. So I'm going to get back into that game this week. I'm going to definitely get back into that game this week. We've got a lot of games coming on. Uh, we got three games coming up later on this this uh, this month with Resident Evil Biohazard, which I did do the teaser for. Like I played the teaser for that. Um, I don't know if I played it before I uh, uploaded all these Overwatch season matches. Let me look this up real quick. Yeah, I did play the teaser. Yeah, the Resident Evil Seven teaser. Uh, the beginning hour, I played it. You know, it was cool. It, it was a cool, it was just a quick twenty-minute teaser. You know, nothing too big, but it was pretty cool. It it got me excited for Resident Evil Biohazard. So I'm actually excited to play that game now. So, as that, uh, they have Yakuza Zero, which you know anybody who's fan, a big fan of the Yakuza game series, you know they, you know they had like a uniqueness with them that um is very nostalgic, especially if you've been playing it since like what the PlayStation Two days. So. There you go. Uh, Yakuza. And then we got Tales of Berseria. Now, I haven't touched the Tales game since Tales of, of the Abyss, I don't, I believe. Tales of the Abyss was the last Tales game that I actually played myself. You know, and the last one, and the last one I watched was like, it, it wasn't even, I, I didn't even see the full playthrough of it. It was Tales of Vesperia or something like that. That was like the last one I've seen, but the last one that I actually played was on a PlayStation 2 called uh, Tales of the Abyss. So, this that would be like the, the next Tales game that I actually have hands on experience with. So, more than likely, Resident Evil and uh, Tales of the Syria are going to be the two games that I pick out of the three because I don't really know too much about the Yakuza series anyway. Um, to even care about it, but if, I guess if more people are more interested in that, then I guess I'll um, leave the Tales game alone, because you know, I'm playing Resident Evil. I'm playing Resident Evil, man. It's, it's been so long since I played a new Resident Evil game. I know I got started with Resident Evil Zero, and I just didn't bother with it after that. It was just, you know, I didn't care for it, you know, but this this Resident Evil game right here, this one's going to be interesting. I, I'm, I'm actually kind of excited for that, so... You know, I, it's been a while since I've been excited for a survival horror game. So, yeah, man. So that's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'm, that's everything. Um, I may end up going back, because right now I have, like, a four-game plan with Gamefly. Chances are I may end up going back to, like, a three-game plan just because I don't really need uh, all that. Depending on how fast I can get finished with these games, I, I, I can just go back to the, uh, go back to my three-game plan. Um, and just, you know, bring it back up to four or like whatever at, at any time I need to. So yeah, man, so that's, that, that's pretty much everything. So hopefully I can finish, uh, or get closer to fit or get close to finishing or maybe even finish Sword Art Online, get back to World of Final Fantasy. Um, I still plan on doing the post story, uh, gameplay for Final Fantasy, uh, 15 cause it's, it's a lot of post game content in there. It would be a shame if I just missed all that. You know what I mean? So, those three most definitely. Um, again, I'm not going to be able to go to the play, uh, to the Comic-Con. Uh, it still, you know, hurts that I'm not able to go, but it is what it is. But, yeah, man, please donate to the, to the GoFundMe. Uh, help me get this new equipment. And, um, yeah, join me on Twitch. Um at any given time, just pay attention to the Twitter. As a matter of fact, follow me on Twitter to know when I go live on Twitch. Or you can follow the Facebook fan page. The updates are go there as well. And uh, in a live stream, uh, alerts go there um, as well. I may end up, you know, trying to see if YouTube maybe works better for me later on this week. So I may try to do like a live stream from YouTube. So be on the lookout for that. But again, it's going to alert you on Twitter as well as the Facebook fan page, all of which are in the video description. So thank you guys for watching. Peace, and I will see you guys for gameplay this week.